It's an oral drug. It's extremely well tolerated. Uh, it's been tried in over 60 patients in the phase one study. Um, uh, extremely high response rates uh, in the region of 70 to 80 percent overall response rates, including complete remissions and very durable uh, remissions as well. Uh, many patients have noticed complete resolution of their symptoms uh, and, for example, their skin rash uh, with, uh, with the drug, uh, which is most unusual uh, in the mastocytosis setting. This is being trialled in advanced SM, uh, so that incorporates uh, at the worst end of the prognostic spectrum mast cell leukaemia, then SM AHN, so systemic mastocytosis with associated hematological neoplasm, uh, and also aggressive systemic mastocytosis, and together we call them advanced SM. So really it's been the, the, um, the phase one trial focused in that group, although uh, we're now taking the drug to trial in uh, the more indolent uh, cases as well. Next steps would be uh, to uh, start recruitment in phase two, which has started uh, uh, pan uh, um, US and Europe wide, uh, and also uh, to start to recruit into the indolent uh, uh, trial, uh, Pioneer study, which has also started recruiting. Uh, so really look forward to, to these results. So it already is having an impact, and in fact so much so that the, um, uh, the trial sponsors in uh, collaboration with the investigators uh, and the regulatory authorities have produced a, a symptom score tool that we didn't really have before specific for mastocytosis, and this is currently being validated, and we hope this will provide really useful clinical endpoints for the patients and, and help with drug uh, approval. So challenges are to um, optimise dose. Um, there have been some toxicities seen. Uh, um, one of the, the uh, toxicities of interest uh, have been cognitive uh, effects and um, also um, a, a small number of intracranial bleeds. Uh, so there are safety measures in place, particularly in terms of dosing around about thrombocytopenia. Um, but uh, since that uh, came into effect, my understanding is there have been no further events.